have you ever been in a relationship or even are you currently in a relationship does anybody think they're currently dating you does anybody have a, is anybody in a relationship with you are you in a relationship are you talking to anybody it's so important to ask these days because people are just out here doing whatever they like and uh, looking for side chicks actively like i've heard stories of people being engaged to two people at the same time and i'm like can you all chill so you want to get this out of the way i'd rather know that i ask the right questions and then they lie to me than to just never ask and be living my life based on assumptions and i recommend you do the same thing too hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is foxy and today we're talking about a really exciting topic it is first date questions so questions to ask when you're on a date and you want to know get to know someone more seriously so let's get into it so these questions are a bit of serious questions and questions to help you have fun and relax and the idea is that like the first date is literally just to know if this person is even walkable at all but at the same time you don't want to spend all your time just asking questions that don't really matter so we're going to try to strike a balance but let's get into it so first things first you want to break the ice so start with the regular questions you would ask anybody you just meeting for the first time so random questions about the weather about their commute to where you date what where your date is happening to um questions about their day their job just easy questions and normal things that you would talk to new people about because at the end of the day you're just meeting with another person even though it's someone there's more pressure this time it's still just another person once you've gotten the ice breaking questions out of the way we get into the serious ones so the first thing we're talking about is so tell me about your family is it pretty much knowing what this person is growing up was like um it could be you could say outrightly you tell me about your family or you could tell me say tell me about how you grew up and this leads into a whole bunch of other things they can tell you about where they grew up in if it's something that they're proud of um in terms of people that are really proud about where they come from um but they can tell you about their family about their siblings they really get they get to navigate how this goes um and the good thing is when you're asking these questions there's often time for you to pause and reflect on what they're saying and also offer some answers of your own so maybe you can share what your family is like as well or how you grew up and this way it's like a two-way conversation like should be and you give each other a chance to breathe after a question so it's not like question after question interview style even though this is kind of an interview but we'll pretend it's just like chill and you're just talking so yeah family how you grew up that those are the first questions next you can go on to have you ever been, have you ever been in a relationship or even are you currently in a relationship does anybody think they're currently dating you does anybody have a, is anybody in a relationship with you are you in a relationship are you talking to anybody it's so important to ask these days because people are just out here doing whatever they like and uh, looking for side chicks actively like i've heard stories of people being engaged to two people at the same time and i'm like can you all chill so you want to get this out of the way i'd rather know that i ask the right questions and then they lie to me than to just never ask and be living my life based on assumptions and i recommend you do the same thing too ask questions and listen to their answers listen to their hesitations if they're like uh, i'm kind of talking to someone else think deeper oh really like I, I, so are you dating are you looking to date them as well or, or what sometimes they may honestly just be juggling options but that's something you want to know it's like do you want to be an option how does it influence your decision it's pretty much up to you but hey ask the right questions and decide what to do with the answers that you're getting um after you talked about relationship the next logical question is do you have any kids this can influence um your relationship making decisions do you want to date someone that has kids or is it something to just consider um is the they have kids is the is the parent the mom or dad in, in the in the picture what does that look like do they currently leave you right now how old are they and also it might just be a fun way to get to know people people generally love their kids and they're very excited to talk about their kids so it's they would they might appreciate you bringing up children at this point and it can help you see what kind of life you potentially live together with that you can also segue into do you want kids i know like is, is this it might feel like it's a little much right now but if you're already talking about kids you might as well just drop it in there and see what their reaction is like you might find out that they want lots of babies 19 kids and counting or they're like yeah i don't know and then you, you 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 talk about that and figure out what to do with the information that you're you're getting once the date is done um and then a fun one what do you do for fun outside of work outside of school what what do you do this can help you get a glimpse into the person's life normally if you're going to become a part of this person's life you want to know what they do for fun so 
ask them see what they get excited about and maybe make a note of it if things go well it will be fun for you to in incorporate maybe the next date um to be something that they they like to do for fun and see how they look like when they're in their fun and happy place uh next up if i'm looking here it's because my notes are here <laughs> um it's if you had a day off work what would you do so this is another thing to 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 gauge what their fun what things they do for fun outside of work would be like um what would you spend your off day doing and number seven we would be at um where do you work i know it's like this is coming all the way down here at some point you might have asked this question already so maybe you already know this question through your texting or pre-date questions but if you don't know it now's a good time to ask where they work how they get into this line of work some people have really interesting jobs and you could talk for hours maybe not hours but you could talk for a long time about what they do for work how they got into it what inspired them to get into it which moves right into my next question what inspires you what drives you so people are very passionate about the work they do because it's like it's more than work it's it's a calling or something that they feel like they're supposed to spend their life doing and hearing these stories can help you see what this person is passionate about what things matter to them and um, get a, a closer glimpse into their life um what who's your biggest inspiration some people are really really into uh celebrities into causes and you can learn more about what they spend their time doing what things are important to them by asking questions like this you want to ask fun questions but you also want to know details about what things inspire them and see see what their life has been like before you and what it might be like if you come on board that's what this is about uh where do you see yourself in five years i know super interviewee kind of question but maybe you could ask it as what do you think you'll be doing five years from now that one sounds more relaxed and less interviewee but it gets at the same thing um you want to see what their life plans are some people might be you might be going to med school, law school in the next five years, might be going on a backpacking trip around the world. Some people might be looking to settle down with family and have children. Some people might be thinking of um, becoming the next greatest chef or something. Like you want to know what, what they're thinking, what they're planning for their lives, what excites them, what if they even have plans, which is big. Some people just are going with the flow. Is that something you want? Do you like that vibe? Um, these kinds of questions help you plan. Sometimes life doesn't go like we expect, but for, for the most part, it's important to know where this person's head is at and how you fit into the picture, if you fit into the picture. Okay, do you believe in celibacy? So if you're Christian, you want to know, you just, you, we're getting into the, the, the Christian part of things and or the personal beliefs part of things. And these questions might come up as you go deeper still on this first date, or it could be questions you save for a later date, but there are things you want to know in advance, right? You don't want to get to a point where you realize you've been going for a while and this person doesn't believe things you believe. And then you talk about it. Um, are you a Christian or are you religious? And what if you're just religious, what does that mean? Does that go with you, with your own conviction? Some people, if you're a Christian, you want to date someone who is also a Christian and who believes in God and who understands what they believe, which is why it's important to ask these things. Um, it's again, better to know earlier than later on, which is why I would totally put this one on the first date. What do you believe? Do you believe in God? Are you a Christian? And then you want to get into the answers. The specifics matter because some people grew up with religion around their lives and that's all they know about it, which might be fine for some people. But if you're serious about a life with God, then you want someone who doesn't just say they believe in god their lives reflect this they are involved in the work of god and uh, it's more than religion it's a uh, the life it's what defines their life what do you think a woman's role is in the family this one can help you totally figure out what they think and it might help you weed out misogynistic people people that have archaic ideas or people that have ideas that go in line with your what you have in your mind and this is important guys ask questions that matter if it matters to you, ask about it. Um, hmm. What else do I have here? Do you read any books? Are you into books, podcasts, um, shows? Some people, like these days, not just books, there are so many ways to digest information. So like, what are you currently reading? What are you listening to? What are you um, watching on TV? It can help you just see what they do for fun. And if they mention something in that, that interests you, ask more about it. Oh, 
you listen to how i beat this um what episode is your favorite one or something and then you can have a laugh about that as well so when you ask this question sometimes you 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 get deeper questions that come from just one answer so allow time to like digest it as well and pick questions from what they're saying if you could have a job regardless of your talents your skills your money like if you have if you could have any job at all what would it be this one you could find you could learn very interesting things about people you could learn that their ideal job is something that is totally different from what they're doing right now and that if they want a million dollars they will totally switch gears which is good to know because you don't want to be too surprised by people's life decisions if you merge lives together um yeah and i think i have a few more um is this going as expected <laughs> basically sometimes you need to check and like is this going like you expected it to go um or you could watch that instead of asking it just like see if they're uncomfortable and that's another thing right you're an adult so you can gauge what to do based on the person's reactions um so yeah first dates are hard because you have to somehow shuffle being yourself and being an acceptable person oh, it is a yeah it's a dicey situation but all in all ask questions that help you break the ice to start with so just like normal questions that you would ask and then ask questions that help you find out things you really want to know like if, th- if christianity is important to you celibacy is important to you throw it out there at the beginning and find out what you need to know um find ask about their friends if they have any friends any hobbies what they're going to be up to this weekend things like that are easy questions and offer answers of your own don't just take it at don't just like let it be an interview where you're asking all the questions that used to be a famous youtube um don't ask all the questions pause for them to ask their own questions take the answers they're giving you in and digest it and if something isn't clear to you ask further questions about it which is something i talk about a lot in my book situationships it's coming out this summer 2020 check out my website by foxy.com to um, get a first read at it get the first chapter for free and for more information about me all right guys this is all i've got and i hope you enjoyed this video all right um hmm. have you ever been unfaithful in a relationship this one is a bit heavy but hey past behavior predicts future behavior if people don't change so ask the question they might deny it uh they might tell you the truth they might hesitate they might be like whoa you'll find out you'll find out when you ask uh questions or you could find some other way to to, to link it in or, or have, what, 